In this video I will be taking a look at how we can label the x-axis of a pie plot graph. This is the computer program we looked at in the last video in the playlist and you can see that the first two lines import pyplot from matplotlib and also import numpy. This line will create a numpy array from 0 through to 1000 and this will create another numpy array based upon this here which will be 2 times x plus 1 where the value of x is taken from this numpy array here and of course we say that this calculation is broadcast across the entire numpy array x meaning that each value in x will have a corresponding value of y in the numpy array that's bound to y. On this line what we're doing we're invoking the title of plt and we're passing in this string and this will label the graph with the string you can see here this is responsible for plotting the graph and this ensures that the graph appears in view so if i run this program what we're going to see is the following and you can see the straight line graph is drawn but here i'm looking at the title of the graph and that has been taken from this string on this program statement line. We can now consider this computer program which is almost identical to the one we've just been considering, the difference being I've added this additional program statement here and you can see I'm using PLT and I'm going to be invoking this and to this I'll be passing this string x-axis and this will be used to label the x-axis of the graph that's going to be plotted. So if we now look to the runtime for this program what we're going to see is that this will give us the following and you can see here we have the string and that string will appear as you can see down here as x-axis. So let's consider this here you can see I'm invoking this that's associated with plt and I'm passing in the string x-axis what I can also do, I can arrange to invoke this, but instead of just having this string, what I can have are other arguments that I can pass in. Let's consider a few examples of the labelling of the x-axis, and the one we've just considered is this one here, where I simply label the x-axis, as you can see, with this string x-axis. What I can also do, I can arrange to call this again, but this time pass in more arguments, as you can see here, where I'm making the colour equal to red, the size equal to 15, and the weight of the font that's going to be shown as bold. I can also do this, which you can see has resulted in me changing the colour to blue, changing the size to 20, making the size of the font bigger, but also on this occasion making the weight normal, i.e. not bold. So if we consider this example here where we're invoking the X label and just passing in the string X axis, what you're going to see appear at the output is the following on you can see the label is X axis. If you consider this, I have now passed in more arguments where I'm making the colour equal to red, the size being 15 and the weight being bold. Now if we run the program that contains this, what we would see is this. And you can see that what we have is the same string, but you can see it's taken up the colour red. It's bigger, it's size 15, and you can see that the font being placed on the graph is bold. We can also consider another example, as I'm showing here, and on this occasion, you can see I'm making the colour blue, I'm making the size bigger at 20, but the weight, it's not bold now, I'm making it normal. So the font will not appear bold when you run the programme. And what you can expect to see for the label on the x-axis is shown here. Well, you can clearly see it's blue, it's bigger than the red example shown above, but it's quite clear that it is not bold, it is normal. 
please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.